What's up everyone? The PSD will be available on my store because unfortunately people are stealing and selling my work right now, which is fine. But also my pack right here is available on my store. It is the extended version of the 2021, so I'll have to make a 2022 one soon, but yeah, that's available on my store. As well as my Lightroom, which is good for Cinema 4D, that's also on my store. Because unfortunately I make no money off of YouTube, so if you want to support me, that'd be great. And yeah, let's get into this one. So this is going to be a nice little superhero with 2D text, so you won't need any type of... Uh, blender or cinema 4d to make the type you can do everything in photoshop these are assets from my pack uh so if you want to follow it there are some things you might need but you can just use maybe your own smokes your own backgrounds if you need just depending on what you need but right here as you can see i'm adding a gaussian blur and then in the background i just have a generic flare that i took from my pack but i'm just making sure everything's blurred and good to go before we pop in the render and the lighting And then right here, I just simply filtered the nice little render there, and then I'm adding these brushes, which are also in my pack. I'm duplicating them, turning them, making them larger and smaller, and then adding a blending mode to it, which is hue. And then I'm just adding that all over the place, and then I'm going to get my purple brush right here. I'm going to paint all around the edges, and I'm going to make the blending mode linear dodge to start. Once you have a few different brushes placed in the background with different blending modes, I just turn the opacity down to some regular ones. I actually took this uh, nice little galaxy thing and I overlaid it and then I just blurred it with a nice little motion blur to make everything blend together super nice. And then right here to give it some depth, I'm just taking a big black brush, putting it behind everything, and then I'm just painting the edges to make sure everything looks somewhat blended so far. We'll make sure we blend it a lot more later.
Then right here, I'm just painting the edges of the character right here, and I can make the blending mode color or hue, but I will also be painting the edges of the character again, then adding maybe like a linear dodge also with low opacity, but it all depends on what you like to do. But right here, as you can see, I just made it hue for now, and I'm turning on and off. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but I'm gonna be doing more. I'm also painting the guns in the inside on this one too. All right, and then right here, we're actually gonna get a nice purple brush, make it ginormous, and then we're gonna paint in front of everything. And then after that, we're actually gonna put clouds that we're gonna make dark, and then we're gonna put that in front of this glow that we're painting right here. Make sure everything is super uneven, so you don't want an even glow because that would look sort of unnatural, but if you make, um, you can see on the right, it goes up, in the middle, it goes up a little bit, and then on the left, it's just a splotch. Make sure it's just super uneven, and then set the blending mode to linear dodge, and then add um, some smokes for my pack right here. Um, and then I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to those smokes, and then I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to place it in front of everything. And then right here, I'm actually taking another brush that is slightly a different, it's like lighter, it's more pink, and I'm also just gonna do that super unevenly around everything so it doesn't look super um, normal, you know what I mean? Um, and then I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay, soft light, whatever really works. Um, I went with vivid light for a bit and that one looked okay, but I went with linear dodge in the end. And then I turned the opacity down quite a bit, but I did change the hue and saturation of that one I just painted in so it blend a little better. You can see right here, it's just a, so it's less pink, you know? Alright, and then something super cool right here, I'm actually going to add some gradient maps. I'm going to have one gradient map on the left, and then one gradient map on the right. If you don't know how to make it so that one's on the left and one's on the right, just s select the um, the white box that's in your layers on the gradient map. You can see I have it right there. Select it, and then paint black wherever you don't want it to occur, and then white on where you want the gradient map to show up on the PSD itself. But as you can see right here, I'm doing a blue and pink because that is a popular, and I think it looks pretty nice, a popular color color duo that everyone's doing right now, but I, I like the way it looks. And then um, after that, we're just gonna color correct, add some particles, um, some text, and we're about done.
And then right here, you can see how different everything looks in the end. I did color correct everything, make it a bit more bright and vibrant. That's super easy to do. I'm sure you all know how to do that. Just make a brightness and contrast layer. And then um, I added some nice little splotches of color and then changed the blending mode to linear dodge and then lower the opacity. I did that over everything. But then also I'm just gonna do some simple text in the end. And then um, you can use whatever font you want for that one. Uh, and then I actually added some particles and then called it a day. I just I made sure everything was color corrected very nicely, super bright, nice little contrast there. And then I added chromatic aberration also like I do with all my other stuff. And you, you'll see the end result right here. It's super easy. I'll have another one like this. But of course, if you want the PSD to save yourself some time and some effort, I got you. It's in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see a good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you're from. And yeah, I'll see you hopefully next week or the week after. Bye.